Whoopi Goldberg is in deep yogurt and she should be fired. That, not according to me, it's according to ABC insiders who claim corporate brass are livid over the host's comments about the Holocaust. So could there soon be another vacancy on The View? As you know, the liberal talk show host has long suffered from foot and mouth syndrome. She may have gone too far yesterday when she said this. The Holocaust isn't about race. No. No, it's well, not about maybe race. Maybe it, it, yeah, no, it's Jews about a different it, race. But it's it's not about race. It's not about well, race. What is it about? Because you, it's about man's inhumanity to man. Oh yes, that World War II scholar Whoopi Goldberg and her culturally appropriated name chiming in there. Last night she went on Colbert to try and do some damage control. Did that work? I I feel. Being black, when we talk about race, it's a very different thing to me. Mm -hmm. So I said that I, I felt that the Holocaust wasn't about race. People were very angry and they said, no, no, we are a race. And I, I, I understand, I understand. I, I felt differently. This wasn't based on the skin. You couldn't tell who was Jewish. Mm, all right, well, that solves it. But it wasn't enough to put out the fire because today on The View came apology number poo poo. Number two. It is indeed about race because Hitler and the Nazis considered Jews to be an inferior race. Now, words matter, and mine are no exception. I regret my comments, as I said, and I stand corrected. I also stand with the Jewish people. Our corporate cousins at the New York Post reporting view staffers are furious that Whoopi has not been disciplined. We're told her fellow hosts are very angry. So will this whole thing blow over or is Whoopi Goldberg going to be forced to make an exit stage left? Here with me now, journalist Eve Barlow, who has been covering the story for The Federalist. Uh, Eve, welcome back to the show. Hi, it's good to be back. So let's talk about this uh, because obviously Whoopi Goldberg has spent some time thinking about this and, you know, she wasn't just spitballing there. Uh, she was offering an opinion that had clearly taken time and thought for her to arrive at. What did she get wrong and why is it so offensive? She said that the Holocaust wasn't about race. And she said this four times with a great deal of confidence and certainty. And it, it's intellectually false. The Holocaust was absolutely about race. It just wasn't about the racial constructs that Whoopi Goldberg understands through the lens of uh, American race theories. Um, when we study the Holocaust, we look at how Hitler, through the Nuremberg laws, decreed a uh, a race system in which the Aryan race were the super race, the race that he wanted to create, and the Jews were the lowest race, and thereby the race that he wanted to ethnically and racially cleanse and eradicate. So is this a point of view that uh, some on the left would like to arrive at, sort of minimalizing the Holocaust and taking a racial component out of that? And, and what does that do in the grand scheme of things? I mean, it's a very myopic view of race that would, that erases not just a lot of people, but it erases a lot of historic events. It erases other genocides. I mean, how can you categorize the, um, you know, the intention behind genocides such as Darfur or Rwanda or the, or the Armenian, Armenian genocide, genocide if you're, bing, bing, bing. if you can't. Very good. Exactly. If you, if you can't apply the notion that, that racism was was part of the, the reasoning behind action there. So this myopic worldview that Whoopi Goldberg is, is projecting on The View is very much um, in line with leftist theory at the moment and progressive theory and, and is popular in corporate media. However, it's erasing, as we see from this very instance, the, the Jewish history as regards the Holocaust and could go further. And, it's, you know, what happens, like, last May, uh, when there was fighting on the West Bank. Uh, the narrative had shifted very much to the left, and um, Israel was deemed an apartheid state that was engaging in genocide and uh, choosing to stamp out an enemy because of skin color. So what does Whoopi Goldberg's uh, recent comments have to do with what happened last May? 
Well, they don't directly reflect on this, but it is part of a similar problem where the idea of American race theories are lassoed, if you like, onto other global events and global histories. So, for instance, in the case of last May, during the war between Israel and Hamas, it was seen as a race issue through the lens of black and white, where Israel was the white nation and the Palestinians represented people of color, which is, again, a complete intellectual false, a falsehood. In your estimation, should Whoopi Goldberg be fired? I don't believe in cancel culture. What I would say, however, is that this isn't really about Whoopi anymore. It's about it's, it's about the fact that this idea has been proliferated and that she got this idea from somewhere because it, she didn't invent it. This yes. is a, this, these are popular was beliefs right now. So this, this has to be a teachable moment. It has to be a moment for platforming experts who can speak to this and educate people, educate the masses, and make sure that we can really stand by the, the idea of never again when it comes to the Holocaust by properly teaching people about Jewish identity and what the history of the Holocaust involved. Yeah, and when they start teaching those courses, I hope Whoopi Goldberg is first in line. Uh, Eve, thanks so much. Thank you.